Welcome back to Neeta's Indulgences. Today I've got you covered with two quick and easy recipes for a day's lunch when you're home alone. I make extra of these two dishes so that I can use it up for evening dinner as well. So, what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. Our first dish is simple chicken curry. This is a easy chicken curry with spices and creamy coconut milk is rich and delicious. Let's start the cooking. Let's add some coconut oil. Let's randomly cut some ginger pieces. I'm adding in garlic cloves, roughly about 25 to 30. Whole Kashmiri chilli about 20 odd then some curry leaves saute this until the raw smell goes make sure to use whole kashmiri red chilies it's basically for the color the mixture has cooled down let's grind now i'll grind this and come back done let's marinate the chicken with this hot paste now Make sure that it's evenly coated. Add salt to this mixture. Let's take the same pan. Now I'm going to cook the chicken in one cup of water. Let's add the chicken pieces now. You can marinate this for half an hour or you can cook it immediately. It's your choice completely. Let's add one cup of water. Please check for salt and add salt if required. Let's cover and cook the chicken now for 10 minutes. Now the chicken curry is almost done. At this point, we are going to add one cup of coconut milk. I'm adding a little more salt. The chicken is done. I feel like doing a tadka for this chicken. So let's do that. So you can completely skip this process, but I am in a mood to do tadka, so I'm doing this. Add coconut oil, a little bit of mustard seeds. Add some shallots and curry leaves. Let's add the tempering to the chicken now. Our delicious chicken curry is ready. Our second dish is potato fry. Thinly sliced potatoes seasoned with simple ingredients and sauté to perfection. Let's cut the potatoes like french fries. Let's start. Let's add some coconut oil. Let's add some mustard seeds. One thinly sliced onions. Saute the onions until it turns slight pink. Let's add some curry leaves. Add four boiled potatoes which is cut into lengthwise. Let's add some salt. Make sure not to break these potatoes. Saute the potato for 2 to 3 minutes. Now at this point you can add 4 slit green chilies. Now once the potatoes are almost fried, we are going to add freshly ground pepper. Now this gives a brilliant flavour to the potatoes. But hold on tight, there is one more ingredient which gives a brilliant flavour to this potatoes. Now for the final ingredient which I was talking about is little bit of freshly ground garam masala. Very little.
for tuning in. Today's comforting chicken curry and crispy fried potato is perfect for any regular day at home. Keep it simple and keep it delicious. And don't forget to hit that like button and do comment for more such recipes. Until next Friday, take care. Bye-bye.